Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today a circular regarding the new Hijra year 1439. The circular stipulated Thursday, September 21st as an official holiday for all ministries, governmental directorates and institutions on the occasion of the first day of the Hijra year of Muharram. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued four edicts for the year 2017. Edict 19 appoints Ibrahim Al Abdurrahman Burshid as Director of Secondary Education and Mohammed Ghanim Zayed Ghanim as Director of Human Resources. The Minister of Education is to implement the edict, which shall be effective on the day of its issuance in the official Gazette. Edict number 20 appoints Dr. Muna Yaqub Yusuf Al Quz as Director of the Accreditation and Licensing Directorate at the Ministry of Education. The Minister of Education is to implement the edict which shall be effective on the day of its issuance in the official Gazette. Edict number 21 appoints two directors at the National Communication Center with Sam Ibrahim Hijris as Director of the Media Office and Fatma Jafar Sirfi as Director of Strategic Planning Directorate. The Minister of Information Affairs is to implement the edict with which shall be effective on the day of its issuance in the official Gazette. Edict number 22 appoints Mohammed Salah Ahmed Dawood as Director of Human Resources Development at the Civil Service Bureau. The President of the Civil Service Bureau is to implement the edict, which shall be effective on the day of its issuance in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Dhabiya Palace today a number of royal family members, businessmen and senior officials where he discussed with them the latest local issues. His Royal Highness affirmed the keenness of the government to support and adopt the initiatives that promote and market national products and support the government's plans in achieving self-sufficiency in some food products. He urged the private sector to participate in developing national industries and reviving Bahraini traditional food industries related to the Bahraini heritage and history, noting the national product's ability to compete with local and global products in line with the government's facilitations. His Royal Highness stated that the government will continue to create policies, strategies and programs that aim to develop national industry. The Prime Minister reviewed a number of topics related to the local affairs, emphasizing the, le the legacies of national history that reflect national identity. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik al Sheikh. The ambassador, upon directives from the Saudi leadership, presented to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister an invitation to attend the reception which the embassy will hold on the occasion of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the honorable stances of the Saudi people in showing loyalty to its leadership in the face of all challenges. He noted that Saudi Arabia has always been a peaceful country that helps its brothers and friends in handling issues such as terrorism, highlighting KSA's significant 
significant role in combating terrorism and maintaining regional stability. He hailed the development and prosperity process led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, with the support of Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. The Prime Minister also praised the Saudi leadership stances towards different Arab and Islamic issues, pointing out its pioneering role in supporting all humanitarian efforts that contribute to reinforcing regional and world security and stability. His Royal Highness also affirmed support to Bahraini-Saudi relations, expressing Bahrain's pride in the positive development of bilateral ties, which is based on deep-rooted relations between the two countries and their people. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asia Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the achievements which set Ibrahim Cheruban as the third best runner in history and current season. Bahraini runner Ibrahim Cheruban made a world record during the Copenhagen Half Marathon Elite race in a time of 58 minutes and 40 seconds. It was the fastest time over the distance since 2011. Three runners broke the 59 minute barrier, the first time a trio have accomplished the feat. His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the capabilities of Cheruban, which enabled him to make such an accomplishment and reinforce Bahrain's status in global sports. He said that Cheruban is one of the best long distance runners, which the association is relying on, confirming continuous support to him in order to make more accomplishments. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's initiative in the fields of religious freedom, dialogue, and coexistence to achieve world peace and combat extremism. In its usual session, which was chaired by SCIA President Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and in the presence of SCIA Deputy President Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Council welcomed the launch of King Hamad Center for Inter faith dialogue and peaceful coexistence and the kingdom's declaration to support religious freedom, noting that they reflect the kingdom's rich history in this field. The council congratulated the leadership, the royal family, the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation on the advent of the new Hijri year. The council affirmed that Ashura season is considered one of the most important religious seasons in the kingdom and it reflects Bahrain's keenness on preserving freedoms and religious rituals and to support Bahraini pluralism amid an environment of peaceful coexistence. The Council called on people who are concerned with this religious season to be mindful of their religious, patriotic and social duties and to prevent all acts that violate the uh, sanctity of the rituals. It also emphasized the importance of respecting re regulations and laws which guarantee a safe environment for practicing all religious rituals. The Council called on religious speakers to commit to constructive and responsible preaching and to avoid anything that would cause it or politicize the Husseinia rituals or employ them in a partisan or factual agendas. The SCIA congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the success of the Hajj season, expressing appreciation for the fundamental role Saudi Arabia plays in serving the two holy mosques under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. On a different note, the Council denounced the violations against Rohingya Muslims and the violence against them by authorities in Myanmar which caused the death of thousands of innocent people and the displacement of tens of thousands. After that, the Council reviewed the topics listed in its agenda. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Muller, received today morning the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs, Ghanim bin Fadl al Buainin. Al Muller affirmed the Council's keenness on cooperating and coordinating with the government, adding that the Council is going to work on a number of important topics and projects for the coming fourth and last term of the fourth legislative session. He noted that this meeting reflects the keenness of both the legislative and executive authorities to cooperate for the benefit of the kingdom and its people and to prepare for the parliamentary and governmental projects and proposals that need to be organized in priority according to public interest. 
Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated in the consultative meeting of the four ministers of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, UAE and Egypt. The meeting was held at the headquarters of Egypt's permanent mission to the United Nations on the sidelines of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly, the UNGA 72 in New York. The ministers reviewed latest developments regarding the crisis in Qatar and ways of dealing with it, affirming that they would pursue Proceed with all forms of coordination to, to maintain quartet solidarity, preserve Arab security, and promote efforts to eradicate terrorism and extremism. They also discussed the regional issues tabled for discussion on UNGA 72 agenda. On the sidelines of the 72nd session of the UN General Assembly, the UNJ72 in New York, City Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. He conveyed the greetings and wishes of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The minister affirmed that supporting the Palestinian cause at all regional and international forums has been and will continue to be one of the constants of the foreign policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He added that such conviction stems from the Kingdom's firm belief in the legitimate rights of the broadly Palestinian people, particularly their right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital according to the principles of the two-state solution, relevant international legitimacy resolutions and Arab peace initiative. Also on the UNJ Assembly session, the Foreign Minister met with the Indian Minister of External Affairs, uh, Sushma Swaraj, at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The meeting affirmed the depth of the friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India and the great progress in joint cooperation between the two countries in various fields for the benefit of the two countries and people, highlighting continuous coordination between the two countries on regional and international issues at various forms. Views on the most important issues of mutual concern were also exchanged during the meeting. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,302.6 points, marking an increase of 4.13 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, services, and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 66.44% of total shares. 126 transactions included 16,102,224 shares, or 2,610,094 Bahraini dinars. Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said expansion contracts for Babco will be signed before the end of the year. He said Babco will choose the wa warning bid in the near future with final contracts to be signed before the end of 2017. Babco was expected to take a decision in the fourth quarter as it was due to meet a consortium led by UK-based tech NIB FMC for further talks over the planned expansion of Bahrain's only oil refinery. 